very, very capable of getting out of your hands. It's a very evil life, elusive, not easy to grasp and hold, grapple with. But I also believe the cat has got nine lives. You cannot have exhausted many of his life. On a single day, this looked like a very, uh, actually a fictitious year or a matter of a fiction book. On a single day, there were two encounters with him, single day. It's also there in one of the chapters. In one, the Karnataka police missed him. In Hindi, you say, Amne Samne, Tamil, Ne Rindri, Edirum Pudurumaga, and you keep in the distance that he escaped. The Nayak Karnataka one team assistant commander, a good friend of mine, an absolutely dedicated officer, he had gone and he was resting near a rock and his people had gone round the corner to feed. Suddenly they found some rustle in the bushes and out comes Virapan. He was also on a similar mission. He was also easing himself and coming out. This Nayak himself saw him and he lifted his gun and he was about to shoot. That man was about to lift his gun. For some reason, I don't know what happened that day. It's very, I mean, these are all things incredible. You, you will think normally, how can it happen? It's like in a X film or I know this movies with, with very funny things happen, which are in, not easy to believe. They miss each other. And when the, he tries to squeeze the gun, that fellow's already jumped away from a rock and disappeared, along with him, three, four fellows. They, they did not fire a single shot on that day and in spite of this close encounter. Same evening, that's the bottom of the lake between Karnataka. Our officers get the news that he has ordered pancake, that is dosha. Yes, Hirapan has asked a particular house to prepare dosha and is going to come there. So our people went, Mr. Huzan, he's a ADSP retired, or SP retired, he's here in Raipata. Fantastic chap, excellent hunter, cook, gunsmith, and they are multitasking kind of guy. He comes out of beautiful jungle cuisines. Mm -hmm. He bakes, he cooks, he does everything with nothing. With what is available locally, he can live off the land, that kind of chat. He is he leads the team and they come and lie in wait hundred meters away from that particular house, hundred, two hundred meters away from the house. And they see some there is no electricity there, some vague light there. And they think this is the time they started, they start approaching. When they start approaching, suddenly there is a gunshot. When they get a gunshot, they are a little shocked, they get up and start running to that house. What has happened is, this gunshot was not from Virapan, not from Istria. There is a farmer who is every day bothered by the wild boar. Wild boar come and, uh, wild boar are the vermin. They come and destroy, they are very, very destructive, like peacocks are also very destructive. Wild boar are destructive. Porcupine is very destructive. Elephants are destructive in different sense. But the wild boars are one of the most destructive. They plow into the land and eat away all this beetroot, the root of the potato or root, any root it eat away. So this fellow was troubled by that and he was waiting every day to kill that as many boars. Not one boar, they're coming 10, 15 or not. So when he found it, he opened the gun. And that house was very close to this dosha boar. Now, when that fellow opened the gun, the man beating the dosha here, they were up in a party, they got alerted and they ran away. So, by the time our people approached, they had disappeared. So, there was a gap. So, on the same day, there were two misses. So, you are absolutely correct. My take was that since you have been missed so long and uh, so many times, I will be uh, in the bigger club. That was my hope and faith. And it turned out to be well. Turned out yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, great. Um, uh, I think. Chose to kind of brazen it out and not tell, uh, you know, Raghu Gopal Krishnan also was the leader of the jungle force involved in this incident. Yeah. Sure. I just make the uh, two. Yeah. No, no. Just two. Just, just two observations. This was a tilting point, a turning point, a grave mistake done by the Virapan. I would say, supposing he has continued as a poacher or a hunter, he would have had a longer uh, journey of maybe. This incident in which 22 people were blasted and killed, 15 were, I think, civilians. 15, if you remember, were civilians. Uh, 15 or 14. Because this man who was leading the operation is called Rambo. He was actually a phenomenal uh, chap. His muscles were, they were also very fit, but this, <laughs> uh, his muscles are like this, biceps of this, and thighs are like this, and he would walk like that. 
and he was the uh, biggest muscle man of Tamil Nadu police, you can say, Rambo Babalakush. Some of you might have seen him. He's no more. He passed away in 2016. He had only 10 surgeries after this, this blast. He survived. He was standing in the bus number one with this bulging bicep like that. And uh, Virakan did, was trying to see through binocular or whatever. He was waiting for him. He thought he would come in his jeep. But the jeep broke down. So they borrowed the bus of Karnataka. They came in two buses. Bus one, bus two. When they arrived, there were 10 pits with 14 feet distance. And in each pit, more than 10 kg, 15 kg of ammonium nitrate, gelatin, diesel, and various things mixed. There was a 12 volt battery connecting, and there was one fellow called Simon. What is interesting is, uh, on a good Friday, this uh, not so good Christian, he had a cross, but he was not too religious, I feel. That's what I've written in the book. He was blast -tried. he blasted it, and uh, Gopal survived. This Kulanda Payan also died. Who is Kulanda Payan? Gopal, uh, sorry, uh, Gopala Krishna survived, but uh, Kulanda Payan is the brother of Setupuli Govind then. Who is the most trusted man of Virakan and who was there on the last day of the encounter? And he was actually more powerful and more intelligent and smarter than Virakan. Sometimes the managers and PAs are better than the bosses. The number two is better than number one. He was that good. So, Imam. So, Kulanda Payan's wife was born by Govinda, that is the younger brother sending word to the elder brother's wife, tell your husband not to come into the forest. Why? Because Virapan put a poster abusing Rambo in filthy terror, saying that you are not born to a mother and you come and let us have one to one and all this. Rambo should not have taken the bait, but poor fellow Rambo being Rambo, he said, I am coming. He almost announced his coming and he went into buses. You can't do the general practice in this open grazer, it's not an open war. He went, he was such a bold fellow. He's also from Arasu Padayachi, a sub martial community, just like Virapan himself. He went there. Now, what That's happened to this lady? She tried to convey to the husband. But the husband uh, only told uh, Rambo Baba Krishna, Sir, is it necessary to go? Things are not good. That's all he said. He didn't want to say anything more. He didn't want to make him angry. He didn't say that. No, he said, no, no, we are going. Next day, this was three days before. Next day, again, this lady, that is his Kulandapayan's wife, is found near the ghat. Again, another small boy comes and wants. Message from himself. Better watch out. Tell your husband to stick to the home. But Kulandapayan, being a very loyal and simple man, old, old virtues, he did not know how to convey this effectively to Rambo. Again he tried. Yeah, uh, some other time, something else. That is, let us do it some other time. But Rambo just went like a dog. That incident made Karnataka Chief Minister to visit the injured. Tamilnadu Chief Minister also visited Jayavirata, visited Gopalakrishnan at uh, Salem Sarda Hospital or some hospital. And the decision was made to form a very strong STCF. Right. So that was the turning point. Just to look at news or information that Virapan is moving from. Uh, so these are the hills. This is his native village. This is the Uti. And this is Moyar Valley and Kerala this side. Imagine. So he is going to come down. It is going to cross into this Moyar River. There is a beautiful village called Tengumarada. It's an elephant corridor also. So that information was the reason why the team was sent there. And nobody, many people are not willing to go. There's Anjay Kumar, his friend, and two more people. And it's a very small team, very, very dangerous. Four people are going and staying in that island because they're very sure this fellow is coming. That island means it's a very slushy, dirty spot. And with the night, one day, he's having some problem of stomach. And the other said he should have woken up the sentry, told him and then gone. He makes a small mistake. He goes round the corner, he goes for his bathroom or something, and he's coming. He used to chew, chew up, uh, pan, he used to have this vetala, pan chewing habit. And he was all the time chewing. So when he came, the other fellow was sleeping, and suddenly he got up and he saw the shilla. By mistake, he asked him, 
So, but this guy did not properly reply. He took it easy. He said, ha, something he said. By the time, out of panic or shock, he shot his own dearest friend. That is the biggest loss we had because Anjana Kumar was a fabulous chap. In one incident, when about 2,000 people came, walked to attack the police, he took out, not his gun, he took out a arwa, a sickle, put a line and told, if anybody got the guts, cross this, then I would shoot them. Nobody crossed that. It happened in Nalu village, which is a Tamilian and Karnataka village. That was Anjay Kumar. He was a truck driver before he became a policeman. And he had only one memory when he died. He said, look after my sister. Because he was very passionate about looking after. He says, look after my sister. And what happened to this boy who shot him? He became half mad. We tried to, not me, my teammates, earlier people, they tried to console him. They tried to tell him that anything could have, this could have happened, it's not your fault. Because when you woke up, you saw him, you, you challenged and you opened fire. But he was inconsolable. He could not be convinced. He left the force and went away. This was one of the most traumatic incidents within SDI. So when the four came, one was dead, two were carrying his body, and the buddy's weapon was taken away because we didn't want him to shoot himself. This happened much before I joined, but this is what I came to know. So this is a very important part of this. Yeah, and, and right up, I think, on the gun, and he wanted yeah, to... Yeah, he wanted to shoot himself. That's why they took away the gun from him and... Uh, yeah. Get him. yeah, it's really quite a... Then I was writing this, I made it like uh, D minus 20 minutes, D minus 1 minute, D minus seconds. Because, like I said, those seconds were splitable in my mind. When the information came that, yes, he's sitting there, this was conveyed on the walkie-talkie, no, sorry, cell phone. We had four uh, trees there, and I was standing on close to one tree, and you had to go to the next tree to get the signal. Signal is very peculiar, uh, this thing, that you may get a signal here, but you may not get a signal at that point, like that. So we got, we got the correct point from where he could speak. So exactly at that time, must be around 10 40 around the time we got the signal the thing is coming sick the word was code word was cabal cabal means dark post post is coming post is a code word for the team it's coming so we knew it's coming and the lights were fog lamps were on and the blue lamp was on blue lamp on top and fog lamp on the headlamp which means they are all the four are there and the other lamp means all are armed. These two signals, Varma, Bazaar, or whatever types. And we had installed the cameras inside the van so that we know what is happening there. Unfortunately for us, when the van started coming, the reception was, the team was here, and technical team was waiting here. And as it started moving, the picture became busy. We could not make out whether it was this man at all. Including Napatinale, 44 foresters and policemen. It is my duty to get into the operation, that's all. But <laughs>